So, I'm going to talk about the Logan Paul shit, because the Logan Paul shit infuriates me. If you don't know what the Logan Paul shit is, Logan Paul went to Japan, and specifically went to Aoki Kahara Forest, which is known as the Sea of Trees, and more famously known as Japan Suicide Forest. And it's gotten the name because people go there when they're contemplating suicide, and they either come out on their, you know, on two feet, or they come out being pulled from the forest on a fucking, you know, gurney. And, you know, the local police and, you know, volunteers um, go in there looking for bodies so they w that way they can take them out and give them a proper burial. And people don't know really why people go to the forest, the specific forest, when they are contemplating suicide. It's probably just the the reputation that it has. Um, and so Logan Paul went to Aokigahara. And that's not necessarily the problem. The problem is he videotaped and made shitty jokes about a dead body that he videoed. And, you know, I honestly think people aren't necessarily pissed off about him going to Aokigahara. Because there's a part of us all that would want to go to a place like Aokigahara. Because it's a pretty nice looking forest. It's, it's kind of like this uninspiring forest from what I've seen. So it's not like you wouldn't want to go there. But, you know, you shouldn't act shocked when you find a dead body. When the fucking place is nicknamed, you know, one of the nicknames of the places... Japan Suicide Forest. And you sure shit shouldn't make a fucking joke. And, you know, people uh, have... I've seen people go, it's like, is that person really dead? You know, is that just a corpse he stumbled upon? Or is it someone who's pretending to be dead? And it, like, it really doesn't matter. Because <laughs> it's like, either he paid someone to act like they were a dead body... Which is awful and fucked up. Or he's just videotaping a dead fucking body and being a fucking asshole. You know, making dumb jokes. I haven't seen the fucking video because I'm not going to watch the goddamn thing. Because I don't want to fucking lose any more faith in humanity than I already fucking don't have. Like, I, my fucking hope for humanity is in the fucking shit right now. I don't want to fucking start digging a fucking ditch just to be covered by more shit. It's, I don't want to fucking do that. But I've just, you know, I logged on to Discord and saw this massive thread on one of the rooms that I'm in. And it was talking about this, and it's like, what the fuck are they talking about? Only, and I said, I'm like, oh, okay, they're talking about Logan Paul and him videotaping a dead body, and making shitty jokes. And apparently he's apologized. But from what I've heard, it's a very insincere uh, apology, which, you know, it doesn't fucking surprise me that it's an insincere apology coming from him. Because he's not known as, like, the most sincere motherfucker, you know. He's someone who probably couldn't be serious if, you know, he was himself on the verge of fucking dying. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, the reason I say you know, backtracking a little bit. The reason why I think people aren't upset that he videotaped in Aoki Gahara is because there's a video by a YouTube channel I follow called Abroad in Japan. <clears throat> and he went to Aoki But he made it very clear, like, this is a fucking, like, this is, this is a place where people go to die. You know, don't, don't go off the trails. You, you know, just fucking he, he's very serious about it he's not jokey about it um and from what i've heard logan paul's just kind of like yucking it up and dressing ridiculously as shit it's like all right whatever um the first time i actually heard about the suicide forest is from a Vice video that I watched that was about, you know, the volunteers and police people that go in there. 
and you know bring bodies out and or who are at least go looking for people's dead bodies so that way they can you know give them a proper burial and find out who they are and it's it's kind of like out of tradition to like make sure that they don't get you know they they, they don't become a spirit and you know like a year a like a, like a grudge kind of spirit kind of thing <clears throat> um and they showed like it it's fucked up it's it and again like how how this motherfucker how logan paul didn't understand the sensitive nature of going to aokigahara forest and and videotaping again you know i'd like to go to aokigahara forest but i wouldn't videotape it necessarily and i sure shit wouldn't just you know be surprised like if i was videotaping and i found a dead body i wouldn't release the part of the fucking video where i found the fucking dead body i delete it immediately and go all right well i found a fucking body you know when we get the fuck out of here you know like tell them where like where from the trail you know it's like this is where we found the person you might want to go take them out before they start rotting and shit like that uh but I just, I just honestly want to see what the forest looks like. Not not the forest, you know, with dead bodies in it, just, like, the forest itself. Because it's this, like, dense, you know, forest. And I always, I, I've always liked forests, you know? I've always liked woods and, you know, looking at trees and looking at dense vegetation and shit like that. I don't know fucking why, but... <clears throat> yeah, it's just, like... Just hearing about this shit, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, Logan? Like, you're a grown fucking human fucking being. And... And there's just a bunch of backlash. Like, a bunch of fucking people. Like, uh, Mike Stookberry, who famously had that whole uh, back and forth with um, Andrew Tate. He's like, I hope that guy gets followed by a fucking year A for the rest of his fucking life. It's like, I, I kind of do, too. It's like, he's... It's like... He's not a documentary, and he's, he's some asshole with a YouTube channel. It's like... And... Magic Muscles from the Super Best Friends also kind of pointed out um, some shit uh, because he mentions that some of his videos, like game videos, are not adv advertiser friendly. But you know, Logan Paul gets to have a fucking video of a dead body on his fucking channel, and you know, he deleted it. You know, YouTube didn't do it, but. It's like, he should not have a fucking channel. Like, he should not have a YouTube channel after this shit. Because what's going to stop him from doing it a fucking game? You know. That's that's a fucking legit concern. <sighs> and let's just... Uh, I'll look at Eon Line. I'll look at what they say about... Logan Paul's apology. Maybe they have what he actually said. So, okay. He's apologizing to his fans and followers after posting a controversial video. Yeah, no shit. You know, video of a dead body. Um, the YouTube star recently traveled to Aokigahara, a forest in Japan that is referred to as a suicide forest because it is a site of hundreds of suicides. Probably thousands, if not tens of thousands of suicides. According, I would argue, uh, according to New York Magazine, Logan decided to post the video from the area titled We Found a Dead Body in the Japanese Suicide Forest that appeared to feature a deceased body. Monday night, however, the video was removed and an apology was re was issued. Let's start with this. I'm sorry, Logan explained to his 3.9 million Twitter followers. This is a first for me. I've never faced criticism like this before because I've never made a mistake like this before. I'm trying to buy good people and believe I make good decisions, but I'm still a human being. I can be wrong. That is a piss poor argument. Like <sighs> he continued, I didn't do it for views. I get views. I did it because I thought I could make a positive ripple on the internet. 
upsetting fucking video on the internet is going to make a positive ripple. Not cause a monsoon of negativity. That's never the intention. I intend to raise awareness for suicide and suicide prevention, and while I thought if this video saves just one life, it'll be worth it. I was misguided by shock and awe, as portrayed in the video. I still still am. Any any fucking... In an intro to the footage, Logan reportedly called the 15-minute video the most real vlog I've ever posted to this channel. I think this definitely marks a moment in YouTube history because I'm pretty sure this has never hopefully happened to anyone on YouTube ever. He shared via New York Magazine. Now with that said, buckle the fuck up because you're never going to see a video like this again. Yeah, he's really fucking... He, he was really conflicted about this shit when he's saying, you know, buckle the fuck up in the video. Um... While the video reportedly received more than 6 million views in less than a day, many were quick to express their outrage leading to Logan's apology. I do this shit, I'm assuming that's supposed to be every day. I made a 15 minute, video, 15 minute TV show every single day for the past 460, day, 460 plus days. I've done it fucking longer than that, but fuck you. One may understand that it's easy to get caught up in the moment without fully weighing the possible ramifications, Logan explained in his Twitter post. I'm often reminded of how big of a reach I truly have, and with great power comes great responsibility. And you're the king of irresponsibility, you fucking piece of shit. Jake Paul and Logan Paul should be beaten to near death with a fucking steel pipe. <sighs> For the first time in my life, I'm regretful to say I handled that power incorrectly. It won't happen again. He added, I love everyone. I believe in people. I'm out here. Peace. Logan Logan G for life uh, yeah you know with an apology you go ha you throw a fucking hashtag in and you know like the fuck it, fuck it e online has a you know if you talk to someone if some you or someone you need uh, you know needs help please call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline and it's like that's that's what you can fucking do you like you can talk about like oh you know like if I can if I can create a positive fucking ripple on the internet it's like what the fuck Logan you, like you just are a douchebag you're a fucking douchebag like. Uh, <sighs> anyway also yeah like someone pointed out is like he was wearing a stupid fucking those stupid alien that the stupid fucking aliens from Toy Story like one of us or you know duck claw like that fight that that shit he's wearing one of those fucking hats like you, you go into a place called the suicide force and you're gonna wear that that doofy shit really it's like just wear normal fucking clothes <sighs> anywho ta-ta and fuck logan paul <laughs>